Hello everyone, and welcome to my OS Forensics tutorial. My name is Attila Varga, and today I will be showing you guys some of the basics. The first thing we're going to need to do is find Create Case as the Start menu, and open that. It will give us a list of options here. We're going to enter our case name. In this case, it's going to be Project 2. I am the investigator. The organization is going to be National U. And then we're going to select a custom directory, which is going to be on my desktop. Project 2. And then we'll go ahead and delete some old files I have in there. Sorry about that. There we go. So now we have our new case that we just created and it has all of our dates and times ready to go. And then today we're going to be analyzing a USB drive that I have here. And the first thing we're going to do is load some pictures into here. That one is going to be unencrypted, random pick 14 and cat1 and light bulb are going to be encrypted and uh, let's see if I can make this visible there it is So you can see our random pick is unencrypted, and our cat1 is encrypted, and our light bulb is encrypted. The next thing we're going to do is create a new text document, and we're going to title this document1. And then we're going to create another new document called, oops, called... Deleted bad information. And we're going to open this file. And we're just going to write something bad we had here. We wanted it gone. And we're going to save that. And for the first document, we're going to go ahead and click on properties and make that one hidden. And for the deleted bad information, we're gonna do a shift delete, which will move that straight out of the computer. It will not be in the recycling bin. It'll pop it right out. And then our cat1 image is also gonna be hidden. So let's right click and get that hidden away. And then our light bulb picture is also going to be shift deleted out of here. And I have a previous program on this USB drive that I'm going to keep. And we'll go ahead and close that off. And open up OS Forensics again. Uh, next, we're going to go to deleted file search here, which is uh, probably what I would start. looking for in a crime scene because most likely it was probably deleted and we're going to select our USB drive which I think is in D right now and we'll click on search and these are the deleted files we have and if you remember we deleted the bad information and the light bulb uh, we could click on thumbnails and try and double click on this text and it will bring up a text window of the text information we had in there. Uh, it should be noted that on this first window you have a percentile of how good the data recovery was. So the deleted bad information was about 70% uh, which is actually really low. I did some other tests and they came back at 90 earlier and uh, the light bulb 
let's see if we can view that. And uh, just like at the uh, autopsy, the actual JPEG file is not supported by OS Forensics. Uh, so you would have to extract the data and uh, view it on something else. Uh, and you can do that by just uh, right clicking it and say, uh, let's say save and open with will be pretty easy. And uh, let's go ahead and save that just on the desktop. And uh, here it is. So it, it is encrypted still. And we're going to see if we can open this by right clicking and I'm gonna do paint paint usually likes files so but it does not like that file so because it was encrypted the file is a little bit harder to break into and would require uh, some other software that I do not have loaded on here but let's go ahead and go back to OS forensics and uh, we can also view our timeline And uh, let's try the file system browser. And we want to search our DUSB drive. And all the other options look good. Click OK. Here's our D drive. We can open that up. Here's all the system folders I had earlier that I wanted to use as an example, which was a bootable program. Under tools, we can do a file name search. So let's see, we know there's a file called light bulb. Say if this were uh, a file named um, young girls or pornography, you can search that. And uh, we want to make sure we have our directory, which is going to be the D drive. And we searched 24 items, but there was nothing called light bulb. So we're gonna try another one called cat. And there just happened to pop up our cat photo that we had. And we'll see if we can open this up. And it doesn't look like it wants to open that up. So let's see if it'll view with internal viewer. Unsupported file format is pretty common with this guy. Uh, just basic information here. Uh, we can open with and try paint again. Uh, once again, it will not support that file. We could look up in hash set. And I do have some rainbow files loaded up here, which is these guys. But as you can see, no matches. All right, uh, let's see uh, recent activity on our drive D. We will continue. So there is no recent activity on drive D. Let's try that one more time just in case. Yeah. This is all, if you were analyzing a hard drive, these would be things you can look for, addresses and stuff like that. Uh, registry viewer would be the same but for registries, obviously. Uh, we could go, we already did the file system browser, we could close that up. Uh, we could do the web browser.
which is apparently just a web browser. We can go under passwords, which will find passwords, and we can scan that drive for passwords. But we did not find any information on there since there obviously isn't any password saved on that. But I will do a quick demonstration of what it would look like if you had passwords. And that kind of just gives you all your URLs, usernames, and passwords. And I will be blurring this out so that way no one has my passwords. Uh, the next thing you can do is uh, decrypt encrypted files. So we can uh, try and browse the D drive and look for our uh, cat document and use all of these to try and unencrypt it. Uh, however, normally when I start this on my PC, it crashes it, uh, but let's give it a try anyways. So it says that one is not supported. I could try a different file. Say this one. So as you can see, it's going through all the rainbow tables. And that one is also not supported. So you can also select the files here. And uh, let's find the cat video, or cat picture, I'm sorry. I'm just going to add the rainbow tables. And then see if we can get anything out of this guy. Oh, so there was no PWM dump crack on that. Whatever that means. This will allow us to generate our own rainbow tables based on some certain values. We can uh, take a direct image of this drive if we wanted to, create an image, and then we can work off of the image instead of um, risking damaging the actual drive. Um, here we would mount our virtual image if we had one of those. Here you can save a forensics copy of all your data. And uh, that's about it for the features. If you were investigating this drive, you would want to uh, save everything under a log, which would look like this. I, have, I currently have it disabled. And then all of your case items would pop up down here. And I think you can drag some of these over. You cannot. So that brings us one of these, a signature file, and then we can go to
So after we found our deleted files and we would like to view them under a file viewer, but it's an unsupported file format, you would uh, can go back to your start and click on file and hex viewer and then here's our drive D and as you can see we have our random picture and our cat1 picture which this will open will open these up and uh, give us any other information we have about it. So if we wanted to find the password to a file, we can go to the file system browser and I have one I'll transfer this passworded file to the USB drive, which we have here. And then we'll go back into drive D, and we have our week three assignment here now. And then we can go to verify hash. We'll find our week three assignment, open it, go ahead and hit calculate. This will give us our hash here. We'll copy it, go to passwords, go to retrieve password, paste our hash here, and click recover. We'll give us some errors, and we'll see if we can find the SHA1 hash. So nothing found there. We'll try again using MD5. Here is our new hash. Go ahead and paste that in. Click recover. And as we can see, this time we did not error out. So our chances, I think, are a little bit better. And it looks like it has quite a bit to search through. So I will probably skip through this. Okay, so we're going to do a So next we're going to do a recent activity search and I will go ahead and do that on my current computer just so we can see what that looks like. Click scan, uh, get an error for something, but we got a total of 8,000 items and as you can see uh, all of the recent activity I've had uh, will pop up here, some of the files that we created for this video and here's a USB drive file so this will tell you what USB drives have been entered into the computer and uh, it also will tell you the times over here uh, we got URLs, bookmarks, downloads all kinds of good information and that will complete my tutorial on OS Forensics thanks for watching